Hello viewers, David Attenborough here with a great topic today. We like to call it cell structure. I will talk about it in both plants and animals. Two forms in case you're bad at math, mate. Today, I will go on an adventure just to satisfy you, my audience, mate. I'm saying mate a lot, but that's because I'm David Attenborough. I do what I want. I will do anything for you guys, honestly. Even pay for a vacation to Japan. But that's not relevant. Moving on. I'm David Attenborough. That's about it today. Bye. Alright, here's David Attenborough. Straight from the laboratories. As you can see from my Aperture Laboratory show. That's where I work. First, we'll be interviewing a very, very special thing called cytoplasm. That's C Y T O. Plasm. Hello, viewers. David Attenborough here with a great, great species which we call. Well, it's not actually a species, it's an organelle. We call it cytoplasm. Look at that cytoplasm, just cytoing and plasming. Anyway, let's ask it some questions. What do you do, cytoplasm? Well, as cytoplasm, I'm a liquid, or a fluid, as most people will call it. The cell's chemical processes, like photosynthesis, taking me, take place in me, for a better phrase. I can be found in both plants and animals, and I'm very pretty. That you are, cytoplasm. That you are. Oi, crack it, mate. Look at that nucleus, just sitting there, being all, I'm in the middle of the cell, I'm a nucleus. Notice that it's sitting on carpet. It's not really a carpet, though, it's actually a cell. Anyway, I'll take you through some particular parts of the nucleus. This right here, this metal part, controls what goes in and out of the nucleus. It's called an envelope. This right here is called a nucleolus. Say that. Nucleolus. It's very easy to say. It sounds quite a bit like nucleus, but it's in the middle of a nucleus. Isn't that just fantastic? It can be found in both plants and animals, and it's used to store genetic information. What a fantastic piece of the cell, mate. I love nucleus. Is nuclei, to be more specific. And also, look at that. It's made by Nintendo, but not all cells are made by Nintendo. It's David Attenborough. That's my name. Cells can be all kinds of different. In an animal, there can be skin cells, there can be brain cells, there can be nerve cells, all kinds of cells. Here's a Nintendo cell, but up there, where in the cell, cell storage unit, somewhere up there, there's all kinds of cells, like Guitar Hero cells and all kinds of crazy stuff. So remember, kids, not all cells are Nintendo cells. David Attenborough. Hello, audience. What I've zoomed in on is a bunch of proteins and all kinds of silly junk. It's called a ribosome. This is an example of a free ribosome because it's floating around the cell. See? Here is an example of an attached, I suppose would be the proper name, ribosome. It's attached to what's called the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which has many folds. Is used for many things. That is called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is pretty much the same as the rough endoplasmic reticulum, except for the fact that it has no of those orange things called ribosomes. I'm very sad for the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Forever alone. David Attenborough. Hello, viewers. David Attenborough here with the Golgi apparatus, also known as the Golgi complex. The Golgi body. That one's kind of funny because it sounds like the Bulgy body. But it's not. You may say, Hey David, that's the endoplasm reticulum. Well, you'd almost be absolutely correct. It may look very, very similar to the endoplasmic reticulum. But it's not. The Golgi body has a completely different reason. It processes and then it also ships nutrients like proteins out of the cell. It's much like the FedEx 
or the UPS, or the delivery boy. However you want to take it, the gold tree apparatus is a very, very important part of the cell. And it is not to be messed with. David Attenborough. Hello, mates. David Attenborough here with lysosomes. This is a fantastic lysosome because look at this. Look at all this waste, like Wii Sports cases and vacuum guns and Pokemans and all kinds of stuff. Well, you see this? This? This is the lysosome. It protects the cell from deadly invaders. Like, watch this. See? It didn't get in. That's amazing because of the amazingness of a lysosome. And just look at all this waste here. Just all kinds of trash and toys and video games. And then just like, get out of here, stuff. And it's out of the cell, partially, apparently. That, that doesn't leave. That's a more permanent part of the cell. But look at this lysosome. Isn't it just the most magnificent lysosome you've ever seen? It's so magnificent. I'm considering doing its own study just on it and not the cell. Lysosomes for life. David Attenborough. Mate. Now we focus on vacuoles. Some might say vacuoles, but I'm from Australia and we say it like vacuoles. Anyway, that yellow one and that orange one are animal vacuoles. You can tell because they are slightly smaller than the plant ones. They are all used for storage of energy, though. In plants, the vacuoles are much cooler and just make better sounds because they take up more space. And therefore, bigger is better. Vacuoles are cool. David Attenborough. Cracky. Hello, mate. I'm a girl from Australia. We speak like this. I'm what's called a mitochondria. I'm used to store all kinds of stuff. Music, pictures, and also storage stuff like sugar and energy and food. And I am very small compared to the thing, the vacuoles. And as you can see, I'm very complex. I've got all these folds and squigglies. That's David Ortiz from the Red Sox. I can't show you my password, because that'd be bad. But I could show you all kinds of stuff I have, like, look at that. Photos and music and I talk like this because I'm from Australia, but I already told you that. So then, really, that's the police. I like to the police because I'm from Australia. And then we look at the music. 76 artists. That's like 30 artists. And then there's all kinds of songs like 393. I still like some music even though I'm pretty small. Look at this. I'm a pretty small device, but I'm cooler than the vacuoles. Don't let him know I said that. David Attenborough, out. Hey, look at me. I'm a chloroplast, mate. I don't speak so Australian. I don't know why I said, mate, I'm from the South. It may not look like an English picture, so boy, but I'm green. Look at me. Look at my greenness. That might help a little bit. But, yeah, that looks pretty great, bro. I'm green, trust me. I'm what's called a chloroplast. I'm what's found in plant cells, because I'm plant part. I'm all green, and that's an important part, because, it, hey, get out of here, mitochondria. Okay. But, I enable plants to do all kinds of things, like photosynthesis and make their own energy. I think I'm a pretty important part. Also... I kind of sound like chloroform. Just a side note, I'm not chloroform. I don't like being mistaken for chloroform. He doesn't like being mistaken for chloroform. David Attenborough, out. Did I mention that I have two membranes in my own DNA? Get out of here, mitochondria. I'm an old man. I don't have time for this. But I also have my own DNA in two membranes. That's cool, we should be membrane buddies. No, shut up. I don't like you anymore. Aww, but I love you. No. 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 Hello. I speak in a normal accent. 
I just thought that'd be relevant because everyone else talks in a weird accent. I don't. I'm what's called a central. I do all kinds of supportive things. I like hold the cell together, but I don't like any sissy plant cells or anything. I am only reserved for the animal cells. That's what this square thing means. It means animals only. I speak animal. So, yeah, whoever's watching this is probably an animal because I'm pretty sure plants don't have eyes. So, animals rule. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I got an accent later in that. But I am truly unaccented. I am just an iPod case. Oops, I mean central. That is all. Thank you. Goodbye. David Attenborough. Hey, bro, look at me. I'm WeFit Plus. Look at me, I got all kinds of stuff. I'm actually a plant, if you didn't know that. I could also be a bacteria, but I'm not. I'm a plant. See that green? That's what's called a chloroplast. Hey, I'm a chloroplast. Shut up. I'm not a nice plant. So, as you can see by that, there's a little sticker thing there. That's my cell membrane. And see this hard plastic thing that contains my nucleus, which is right there? Yes, that is my cell wall. The cell membrane, which is that. That, that very pretty, attractive lady. Just kidding, I'm a plant. I don't like women. But she is on my cell membrane. She determines what goes in and what comes out of my beautiful cells. I love my cells. You know I'm my own cell. Just kidding. But, you see the cell wall, which is just magnificent. It keeps intruders out, like if somebody was to say, try to eat me, it would probably not prevent them from eating me. But, I mean, who eats plants? That's disgusting. But anyway, it would probably at least delay their attack on my beautiful branches and such. I love my cell wall. He or she, because plants don't have genders, Loves their cell wall. David Attenborough. Reporting for duty. Hello, mate. David Attenborough here. It looks like I'm standing in front of a wall with carpet on it. But you're wrong. I'm laying on the carpet. Which is actually cytoplasm from the cell, mate. Yeah, you're saying, Ew, he's laying in cytoplasm. Well, it's quite comfortable. You should try it out sometime. David Attenborough. That's my name. Anyway, today we discussed the benefits of having organelles in plant and animal cells. We went through a list that included cytoplasm, which I was just laying in, a nucleus, a nucleolus, ribosomes, a smooth endoplasmic reticulum, also a rough endoplasmic reticulum. They're not so similar, but they also are, so however you want to take that, Leave it up to you. A Golgi apparatus, Golgi body, and also Golgi complex. Lysosomes, not to be confused with Lysol, that's a cleaning thing, though they are quite similar. Vacuoles, mitochondria, chloroplasts, centrioles, which are only in animal cells, and chloroplasts are only in plant cells. A cell membrane and a cell wall, which is only in plant and bacteria cells. I hope that you've learned from this experience and just been covered with the richness and the soothingness of this project. I know I have. David Attenborough, reporting for duty. David Attenborough, signing out. Goodbye.